You can show a reaction, you can show with your body, you can show like this, like, hoo -hoo. <laughs> Great. Okay. I'm gonna open the chat just to make sure that I am not missing anyone coming in. All right, so seems like it's going to be somewhat intimate today. <laughs> okay, I'll chase people down. So before we will, before we start today, I would like to do some housekeeping. I've been receiving a lot of questions about what is that thing about the times changing, the times of the contest, the time of the meeting with the mentor, etc. Right. How many of you live in a country that twice a year will change the time? Okay, so most of us. <laughs> what is the biggest problem? Some of us won't uh, change the time. Like, for example, I believe in South Africa, people do not change the time. People in North America change it two weeks earlier than Europe. <laughs> and then when it changes in Europe, wait, I can hear myself, such a beautiful voice. And then when it changes in Europe, everything is messy. So just wanted to double check that you all received emails with uh, links to Google Calendar in where you can see exactly when the contests and your meetings with your mentor who's meet me <laughs> will be and uh, you get the responsibility to double check uh, if that still works for you and to notify me with enough time so we can arrange another time if it does not work for you is that okay can you like show me with some sort of reaction <laughs> like anything that like, something like this will work too if you don't have your camera on, thank you, Destin. <laughs> Just let us know that you're here, people with that faces. Um, okay, is this clear enough? Right. Um, also, I do apologize if at some point I mix all of your time zones. You are a lot of people, you live in a lot of different places, and now all of the time zones are changing. So I cannot be on top of everything. Please do take responsibility to know when exactly uh, do things happen <laughs> in your country. Okay, I will do my best to keep on track, but I cannot promise that I will be on top of everything. Is that uh, reasonable? Does that sound reasonable? Okay, I'm very, I'm very happy to see you nodding. <laughs> all right, so just double check in that all of you have access to Discord either on your phone, on your laptop, somehow. Show me that you do either reacting like, wow, I'm on Discord, or like, yes, <laughs> or showing me your phone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, mm -hmm. Christopher, by the way, I don't know if you have your camera on, but we cannot see you. I see like a black, black square. I don't know if that's intentional. Maybe it's your profile picture. I don't know. Okay. Um, what else? Do you all have pen and paper and or uh, so somewhere to take notes on? Yes, Ella. I think there are a lot of people who are in the wrong uh, waiting room because uh, Loads Ooh. of people wrote in the Discord chat that they are still waiting. That is weird because I don't see. Doo, doo, doo. Well, thank you for letting me know. For some reason, I cannot see the, the waiting room. Yay, hey, how fun is this? It says that no one is in the waiting room. Maybe they used the wrong link or something from next yeah. week. Maybe, so I'm gonna change the link again. Right, so let's fix this. 100C, Control V.
Mm -hmm. Hey, Amy, nice to see your face. Okay. <laughs> I was getting worried. It's <laughs> another meeting in progress. Wait, what? All right. This is my face of, of how, hi, I am travel suiting. How are you all doing? <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ava, nice to see your face. More people come in, so happy. I was worried, I was wondering why are there only five people on the meeting? I was about, just about to take it personal. <laughs> okay. Still a few of you missing. I know that a couple of you cannot make it today for several reasons. Jasmine doesn't seem to be able. Okay. Right, so if anyone in here, oh, here she is. I didn't even have to ask you for help. I am so happy. <laughs> okay. Can you help me check if everyone who wanted to join has joined already? Mm. Okay, so I guess that whoever is here are the right people now. <laughs> How are you all doing? Okay, so me again with your hands, with your face, with your reactions somehow. Let me know you're alive, even if you choose not to switch your cameras on. Yay, Lina's here, great. Awesome. I do have a personal bias uh, for seeing your faces. So if it is a choice for you to switch your camera on, that will be fantastic. I will respect your choice not, uh, of not switching it on if you don't want to. Uh, guys, you missed the music in the beginning. So shall we do like some sort of dance as in, yay, we have not missed anything. Everyone, yay. Ah. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Okay, so I was mentioning just before everyone made it in that I've been receiving a lot of questions about what does that mean that the time of the contest is changing, blah, 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 blah. So let's just uh, count again. How many of you live in a country that twice per year will change the time? Okay, so a lot of you, but some of you live in a country that doesn't, and some of you live in North America that changes the time two weeks before Europe. That messes the schedule up. That, <laughs> that is why uh, I have created and sent you emails uh, about the times of all of our meetings, contests on Saturdays, and mentorship calls for you to double check if the time changes in the following weeks, okay? Why am I doing this? I could do it myself one by one, but that will drive me nuts and it will take a lot of time. So please help me out. <laughs> uh, help me uh, re remain, my, uh, remain sane, which I will highly appreciate if you, if you did. Is that clear? Yeah. Anyone has any question regarding what is this time change madness? 
Okay. Should you have any uh, problem uh, with the with the time change, if any, and you cannot make it to the mentorship calls anymore or something like that? Let me know, and we will figure something out. Okay. Right. Another thing that I wanted to <laughs> to mention. So I was talking to Carson earlier, and we had um, made it. We, we have changed the, the things on Discord slightly. I guess that you have all noticed that. You only have access to uh, all of the chats with this team. Why are we doing this? Because we want you to create, um, we want you to bond with each other first and then get to know the rest of the community, which is very large. But we want you to focus on your community first and then grow from there. Also, we've been noticing that some people were spending a lot of time on Discord chatting with other people, which is fantastic and we love that. But we want to make sure that you focus on your project, you focus on the work on the platform and on your schoolwork and life and you actually hang out with friends and get some fresh air and do some offline activities, if any is allowed, wherever you are living right now. Okay, so... <clears throat> That is the reason why, again, should you have any problem, any concern or um, anything at all, let me know. If I don't know the answer, I will find someone who will have the answer for you. Okay, any questions so far? Yeah, who has friends? You. Well, I hope that that is uh, not a serious question <laughs> because otherwise I will get really, really concerned. Uh, also, we could start a very long conversa conversation on the meaning of friends. <laughs> what is the meaning of friendship and why, why are we here and blah, 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 all of that stuff. Uh, any questions regarding the platform, Discord, stuff in general? Emotions in particular. <laughs> so let's move on to emotions. So what have you learned this week about emotions? I would like you to do some theater with me just to always stretch your face a little bit. I promise I am only taking pictures for your group, okay? <laughs> so can you all show sadness with your face? like? Come on, so as your most sad face. Ooh. I love how not sad all of you look. I mean, I said sadness, not joy, but okay, let's try joy first. Okay, how do you look when you're joyful? I am believing that one better. What about anger? So as your anger. I'm looking at the pictures and some of you have the same face in all of them. Uh, I wonder if this is because you're difficult to read or because you cannot hear me. <laughs> what about fear? Right, shall we try sadness again? That's great. Okay, here's a tip. If you want to look super sad, you just have to do this. <laughs> you can do this with your finger and you look even more sad than before. <laughs> but then people will notice that you're doing, doing it on purpose. So anyway, moving on. Now that we can identify how emotions look like on faces, and as you know, as you've been learning, these are international, cross-cultural, and uh, start happening even before we get any notion of what culture is from a very, very early age. I would love you all to go to Discord, to the general chat, okay? 15.3 general chat. Do you all have access to it? Okay. And we are gonna play the activity called Chatterfall. Remember from last week, basically you type, you do not click send until I say chatterfall. Okay? Okay? <laughs> this is a lot more difficult online. I mean, if we were all offline, I could sense your energy, but all I see is like a mass of faces, like looking very 
This is me being sad. Me being happy. Me being afraid. Come on, give me some feedback <laughs> in some sort of way, okay? So the first question is, I would like you to type down anything emotional that has happened to you this week. Anything emotional that has happened to you this week. Okay, 10 more seconds. Tres, dos, uno, chatterfall. Okay, spend a few seconds having a look at what other people wrote. I like that we have a wider range of emotions from happy emotional to intensely emotional. Thank you all for your, your truth. And I really appreciate your vulnerability and your willingness to share. So shall we go for the second question? Show me some emotions. Okay, great, thank you. So the second question is, can you share an emotional trait that you've grown out of? An emotional trait that you grown out of. Okay, five more seconds. Post. Lau. Iru. P. But chatterful. Love it. Give yourself a minute to go through all of the responses. I love how some of you are reacting to each other feel free to, to give each other some love, some thumbs up, some whatever you want to react. That's great. It is very important to receive feedback from others when we are sharing something that is important to us, especially emotionally, to make the other person feel heard and seen. 
Sometimes it's not only about listening, because sometimes we listen and we don't fully understand, but it's also about holding space for the other person, making the other, pay, uh, the other person feel heard, feel held, knowing uh, that we are there from the, for, for him or her. Okay. So I really, really like that you're reacting <laughs> with some icons that I don't recognize even sure could if they work for you. That's that's fantastic. Are you ready for the third question? Great. So <clears throat> you've been learning about emotional intelligence this week and probably even before that, because some of you were already very aware of emotional intelligence. What do you think is absolutely essential? for everyone in the world to understand about emotional intelligence. What do you think is absolutely essential for everyone in the world to understand about emotional intelligence? Okay, 10 seconds. Does anyone want to count down in their own languages? Otherwise, I will keep on counting down in random languages here. Do not dust, stress, crack your single says, siete, ocho. Forget the rest. Perfecto, but now the other way around. <laughs> Cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno, chatterfall. Awesome, guys. I really like that you're being super creative with the reactions. <laughs> uh, if any of you decides to react to any of my messages with an antenna, I might not know what you mean, but I will be happy that you reacted in some way. Can anyone explain what is the meaning of an antenna as a reaction? I'm, I'm truly curious. I don't know. I just randomly picked it. All right. Okay. okay thank you very, very much for your responses. And now we are about to go to the weekly team activity, okay? So you will have, again, about 30 minutes to complete it. Maybe I will cut it a little bit shorter because we started a little bit late. So the first thing that you are going to see is one picture that will be shared on your team on Discord, okay? Only one picture. And you will have about five minutes to on your notebook or on your laptop, wherever you feel like journaling, write down anything um, that that picture makes you think of. Like, how do you relate to that picture? What story from your life does it make you think of? What does it mean to you? Okay, just free write nonstop for about five minutes. So first we will do that. After that, you will spend about 10 minutes on the voice channel of your team. Remember how we did that last week? 
Okay, should you have any technical problem with that, let me know. I'm going to be still here on this call on Zoom if you have any question. Go, for, go there for like 10 minutes and then discuss uh, your stories, share the stories with each other uh, from your experience. Remember that they have to be a story that actually happened to you and uh, have a discussion about how, what could the world learn about emotions from those stories. Okay, so after all of you have shared, you will have 10 more minutes to combine everyone's stories, everyone's past experiences into one cohesive story that will instill emotions in the listeners. And you actually have to write it down, okay? So <laughs> please remember to, to write it down while creating it, because I don't want anyone to come back. Oh, yes, we are going to share the story. Cricket, 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 cricket. Okay, so <laughs> make sure that you know how to share it. You will have a couple of minutes to, to share it with the, the whole group. Any questions so far? No, I will be sending reminders. I'm, I, I will actually be telling you guys, you have 10 minutes left, okay? <laughs> but I will be sending you messages on your private uh, group chats, okay? <laughs> yes? We've been given a stimulus image to write something I didn't understand. I, I am about to send a picture into each of the group chats. Okay, right. so I am doing it now. But what? So is it about an experience we've done? The, we picture, the picture on itself um, does not have any meaning. It right, is so the like meaning. That, yes, is the meaning that you give to the picture. So it should be loading on all of your groups, like literally right now. All of you will have different pictures, by the way. Right, it's all done. Um, I think I do got a question. Mm -hmm. How long should the story be? Like, is it about a page or just like, I don't know, 10 sentences? Third, <laughs> First, uh, just free write for about five minutes, okay? Yeah, yeah, but it, you, you know, but as as long as it takes, as long or, or as short as it takes, some stories are very intense and they are only like six words long, and some stories need six pages. So, whatever amount of lines slash words slash whatever you feel your story needs. Okay. okay. So, will this be a team story or a personal story, like? Is an individual is every individual writing it, or is the team writing it together? Okay. So, as I am sharing right now with all of the teams for five minutes, how do you relate to this big? What story from your life does it make you think of, and what does it mean to you for like five minutes? Okay. Sorry, Soria. Um, did you send the picture? Sorry, you muted. <laughs> I just realized. 
<laughs> on your Discord team. Can you see a picture oh, on your okay. Discord team? Uh, let me just have a look. Um, and can I just ask, um, I want to see if I'm able to join on my laptop rather. Um, is there, uh, does my name come up again in the waiting room? Because I want to see if I could maybe switch to my laptop. I'm not sure I understand your question. So right now I'm connected using my phone, um, mm -hmm. but I want to rather connect on my laptop um, all in go, Zoom. Go, go for it. So I, I am trying now, but it says the host has another meeting in progress. So does my name not pop up in the waiting room or? It has not. It? But I think I'll just have to stick with my phone then. All right, thank you. I mean, I would love to have you twice. I am still learning about technology, bear with me. Okay, one more minute of personal writing and when you are ready, join your voice calls on your groups to share it with your team.
much. So, um, okay. Excuse me. Is this supposed to be a story we've experienced? Like a thing we've experienced? Uh, yeah, it's a real story from your life. Okay, I have to like rewrite all of this one. Okay, thank you.
Okay, you have about 10 more minutes, 10 more minutes to finish your collective story. Make sure that it's a story that will instill emotions in whomever listens to it. Okay. And that is a compilation of all of the stories that you wrote personally.
Okay, slowly but surely, come back. Come back to Zoom. Or better, better said, turn your attention to Zoom instead. <laughs> Okay, some people are saying that you need more time. Is that a general feeling? Do you all feel that you need more time? <laughs> okay. okay. A couple of groups are done. <laughs> you need less time. <laughs> you might be the only human being thinking that. Can I keep your time? I'm not going to have enough. Okay, while the other two teams are wrapping up their stories, those who need less time, make sure that you know who is going to tell the story, if it is all of you, some of you, how, in what manner. I'm going to start a visual countdown. Four, three, two, one. Okay, whatever you have is perfect. <laughs> Remember that the best stories are yet to be written, so they do not have an end. So uh, I'm yes. Are you ready to share, Lina? Would you like to go first? Please go for it. <laughs> okay. So we we talked about everyone's experience and Okay, I sorry to, sorry to interrupt. I forgot to mention one thing. While we are listening to Lina and everyone else sharing after her, please make sure that you are uh, listening actively and analyze how the story is making you feel. Every time the story makes you feel an emotion, any emotion at all, just note it down on your journal, on um, wherever you want to write it down, okay? This will be for the feedback later on. Sorry, Lina, for interrupting. <laughs> yeah, it's fine, it's fine. So should I go straight into the story? Please. Okay. So there, there was a young boy living with his mother and his brothers who, who do not care about their mother. So the mother got ill and went to the hospital and none of the brothers took care of her except that young boy. And he tried to help his mother and everyone who needed help in the hospital and the streets. And one time he saw an old lady needed help in the hospital looking for a nurse. Like really she needed uh, help. 
and that young boy helped her to look for a nurse and take the old lady's life. And the boy used to also pray, like uh, pray to his mom every day and support her as she used to do, as the mom used to do with that little boy. So that's the story. Thank you. Would anyone else on your team like to share a little bit how was the experience of sharing the stories and putting it all together into one? Um, I'll say, I'll say it was like, it was pretty good. We like, we were on the call and it's like, um, we, 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 we wrote, we took our notes on the chat so we could all see like our individual stories, which made it easier to like collaborate really. And then we just, um, read through them all and made sure that we had like equalish parts of every, uh, everyone's part, like everyone's like own experience with the picture. And uh, I think that helps really, but it was, it was pretty fun to be fair. Awesome. Thank you very much. That was a really cool story. Who would like to go next? Okay, Jamie. Hi. Oh, right. yeah. The young child ran across the hot sand underneath his feet. The feeling of satisfaction filled him as he reached the cool waters. Feeling the ocean's breeze on his face, diving into the waves, blocking out the world. Days at the beach were always an escape, making you feel like you're being taken somewhere else from Earth. He ran back with excitement, being the furthest he had been in the salty seas. The sound of the waves, everything made him feel excitement. The wind would push the dripping hair from his eyes. His mother would yell at him to put on sunscreen. We've had the opportunity to be lucky enough to have a family that loves us. The beach protecting us from terrifying possibilities. Life may not go back to normal as negative memory consume us. We grab onto the positive ones we have left. The end. Thank you very much. Would anyone else on your team like to share how was the process of sharing? If you had any challenge? So like go again. <laughs> so. What we had was um, me, Ava, and Destin like wrote our things in our team chat. And what I had written was like a kind of like a personal experience. And then what they'd written was like a perspective kind of thing. So I'd like try to merge a personal experience into a out of view kind of experience in one. And um, it wasn't rather have it all equal it was more of a um at a certain moment you would put everything from each of the stories into one so in the ocean specifically it would be each bit of the ocean that was talked about in each story would be put into one piece together i can see both abba and destin reacting on the chat so i know you are there would any of you like to share with your beautiful, beautiful voices how the experience was for you? I mean, Jamie kind of said all there is to say. Um, we all just kind of got together on the voice call and decided to write down our stories inspired by the picture. And then um, Jamie put them together and we were all happy with the end result. So yeah, it was just, we cooperated on it. Nice teamwork there. Great. Which team would like to go next? Okay, Mara, please. Um, so yeah, my best friend changed school a year ago, leaving me behind. We both promised each other that we would enjoy and cherish our summer together. We signed up for Camp at Wetcher, which was a summer camp that everyone I knew would join every summer. As each day passed, it felt as if my best days were only a few sleepless nights away. The day we joined the camp, every breath I took remain, reminded me of our moments together, and I realized that this may be the only time I had with her. So I, so I cherished each breath with the intention of keeping the memories for the rest of my life. But I could feel a distance between us. I took my whole, it took me a whole, blah, blah, blah. it took me a while to realize that she had found new friends and it felt 
like and i felt you the and i felt like used batteries that were easily replaced i knew i was like the third wheel that made them look ugly we were grouped in teams of 10 but i felt like i was alone because my because my only friend and my only family was there but not there for me and that's a feeling that burns you from the inside but leaves no scars on the outside a pain that only you can feel and no one else can see because real pain doesn't scar it burns very nice thank you very much Credit for this goes to um iman he put all our stories together <laughs> Would anyone else like to share a little bit about how your process was? Um, I think uh, this uh, this piece of writing was like, um, it was basically all of our experiences put together. So I think we all deserve a bit of credit for that because obviously um, it, was a it was a team uh, effort. So, yeah. Well, thank you very much. I am really, really liking that so far, maybe the last team will contradict me, but so far, all of you seem to have had very smooth procedures, like you were just sharing and you found very easily a way to put all of the stories together with a great result. Let's see what the last story is like. Who would like to share it? I can read it out. Um, it's actually much shorter than the others. And I think for us, it was, or we were more sharing our stories than actually putting them together, which was really nice too, but yeah, so it's really short. I was walking downstairs to finally tell my mom about something that uh, as important as it gets to me. I was very scared about it, but she's my mom. So of course I had to tell her at some point I wanted to do it as short and painless as possible. So the moment I got into the kitchen, I just said, I'm gay. She turned around and said, what is your dad going to say about this? Yeah, so an open ending and everything because it's more emotion instilling, I guess, because everyone has got like own feelings to put into the story. And we, our process was actually more about we all felt like what we were thinking of in this picture somehow belonged to our families. So we wanted to have something, well, of course it's something that makes you feel emotional. So that's why we picked a family situation, I guess, but maybe the others have got something else to say. If anyone else has anything else to say from that team. When it comes to me, I was moved by a story of one person. I'm not going to name the name to keep it anonymous, but yeah, that's it. Thank you. Well, um, in a second, like last week, I'm going to ask you to very briefly send me a private message on Discord with which story did you connect with the most? On what level and what emotions did it uh, bring to you? What were you, what made you, which story made, made you feel the most intense emotions and which emotions were them? Okay, so that is gonna be in a second. Um, now I would like to I would like to share a few points on how important emotions are not only when it comes to our everyday lives, as in we have to manage them or we have to have them, um, we have to live with them in a way that they don't hurt us. So we are comfortable with them because they are not going anywhere. They are going to keep on appearing. But also uh, later on, you're going to start, some of you have started already prototyping your own uh, projects, business, etc. You are going to tell the story of your business to other people. Not, not only for them to know what you're doing, but perhaps you will be uh, pitching for a scholarship 
or pitching uh, your project to a group of people that might want to invest on it or to potential customers. Stories sell. We don't sell products. We sell solutions to problems. We sell saving, <laughs> saving time to people and we sell emotions. A lot of people will buy an emotion that resonates with them a lot more or a solution to a, to a situation that's making them feel emotional rather than an object on its own. And this is why emotional storytelling is also very important. And what's better is when the story is true. If you are choosing a problem you truly care about, to start crafting a solution for it. You're gonna have an amazing story behind to explain why have you chosen this? Why is this important to you? What was the exact point in where you realized, damn, this is something I totally need to change because it's important to me. And you're gonna start speaking from a passion, from an emotion that's gonna hit people. And that is how your project is going to be successful. And that is how you're going to have projects that, that when successful, are going to change the world for the better. So this is what was the most important lesson for today. If anyone would like to make any final comments or if there is any question, I have like 10 more minutes. And if you need to leave uh, or you want to, <laughs> Please remember to send me a private message with which one was your favorite story, what emotions did you feel while listening, and uh, well, yeah, that. Um, so I don't know like the team names of um, the people who represented the story. Just tell me, just tell me which story did you like. I, uh, I'll no, remember. Yeah, I'll yeah. figure it out. If you want to share one word before you leave on uh, either Discord or here on, on Zoom. Actually, better on Discord. Yeah, <laughs> go to Discord and write one word. I will be leaving. I have another meeting. Uh, thank you, and I will see you next week. Cool. So, as I said, I have 10 more minutes if anyone wants to ask a question, um, share some thoughts, etc. Uh, otherwise, I'll be reading your messages in 10 minutes' time. outside bye as well see you next week i guess bye see you next week yeah thank you sylvia bye you're more than welcome bye goodbye everyone bye goodbye see you later see you <laughs> thank you for coming you're welcome Iman, let me read your feedback first <laughs> so I can count the votes.
So give me a few minutes at least. <laughs> I have not. <laughs> With an accurate answer, you mean uh, um, like how many minutes it is going to take me? All right, okay. <laughs> you scared me. Like, well, I believe it's going to take me 18 minutes and 37 seconds to figure this out. <laughs> You're more than welcome, my pleasure. So the story that we just telling you about is the group story that they mentioned. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Right, I'll be closing this room in about two minutes. So if anyone has any comment. Yes, I am. I am from England. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't be able to your name there. Correct me. I do. how this is where people socialize and not like the actual discord like people just aren't on the general um is it 15 point three thing or even the discord in general people it's like saturday and people then right okay. All right, I'm going to be closing this room. So thank you very much for coming. <laughs> I will be seeing you all during the week and again next Saturday. Okay, so have a lovely rest of your Saturday. <laughs> have fun, <laughs> play with your pets, <laughs> hug someone you love, smile a lot, hey, have and a take good care. Week.
you do, my dear. Thank you.